YouTube. What's good? Just Devon for NRESounds.com. Back with another tutorial. Sorry for the delay. I've been extremely, extremely busy. I know you hear that every video, but nonetheless, let's get right into it. Now, in this video, I'm going to cover a few things about Logic that I hated. And finally, I found a remedy for it. As you all know, it's been a long time since I've transitioned from FL Studio over to Logic. Nonetheless, there were a few things about Logic that I was expecting that FL Studio have, I now found. So, nonetheless, let's check this out. Now, I'm going to preview the uh, this, this, this track that I'm working on right now. And the first... We're going to talk about our playhead thumb and our MIDI. Now, one of the things I hated about Logic is if you see this position that the uh, playhead thumb is in, if it plays, it's not going to play this chord. It only plays whatever note comes right after that, and that's by default. So I'm going to show you how to fix that. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go into file you want to go into your settings and you want to go down to the MIDI now you want to go over to this uh, chase tab and you want to make sure that this notes button is checked so now if we go back take this playhead back to the position that it's in it'll play the, the chord progression let's say you're working on a bass 808 or you know in a kick progression and you just want to make it simple you want your kick your 808 to hit at every instance that your kick is hitting in well you know usually you would just have to copy paste it and you know you know move it so forth and so on and then you got you stuck with notes as such that are shortened and logic I didn't think that this existed, um, but FL Studio has a function where all of your notes, if you, I think it's like Command L or something like that, where it extends all of your notes, and your notes will end up where the next note ends. Um, so if you just hold Shift and hit Backslash, there, that quick, your notes are now touching. I don't know about you, but if you have an 808 and it has a, a long tail or in this case a long release and you don't want them to overlap this will work out fine because your, your notes should stop if you have the release turned all the way down the moment this note ends but in this case I have my uh, 808 set to one shot and what I did was when I wanted this when I wanted the 808 to stop uh, I just started at the beginning of the bar and I lowered the velocity all the way down so that the moment this this note hits it just completely goes silent um, another thing um, about logic that you may not have known uh, you know let's say you, you have a rise so you see here I have this uh, I have this rise set up let's listen to it Now one thing, I'm very, very, very particular about, about my sounds when they start, how they transition, uh, how they sound. As you see, you see how I just scrolled and you know zoomed up real quick. Um, there's a function that would allow you to first zoom in. All you gotta do is just hit Z. Oh, I'm on the wrong note. If I hit Z, and now zooms in and expands it. Um, you know, I'm very, very, very particular about how my sounds transition, where they start, where they end, how they sound. All of that plays a part when it's in the mix. And to me, this does not make sense for it to start before the bar. So if you would hold Option, you see how that little how that changed I can now grab and I can now drag that and it'll until it automatically snaps now that we have it 
starting where it belongs. Let's listen to it now. Sounds a whole lot better. This also works for uh, MIDI. So let's say you are making and you wanted to take these hi-hats from, uh, from an eighth note to a 16. When you're using this command, you hold option and you're dragging it, you gotta remember to let the mouse click go first and then let option go. Because if you don't, this is what you'll end up getting. If, you let, if I let the option button go, now I got that. Now I don't have that, that stretch. So, something simple, quick. I just wanted to touch base, let you guys know that I am still here, that I'm still working on uh, th a few things, and uh, hopefully there'll be another tutorial to come soon. If you're not already a part of the Logic Gang, please remember to like, share, subscribe. It helps the channel out tremendously. Uh, again, I appreciate you for watching. Justavon, nresounds.com. Peace.